The story opens with Jesus returning to Cana in Galilee, the place where he made water into wine. And it's here that we see how beautiful our God's heart is. He was willing to return to the area of Cana. He was willing to put on display his signs, his wonders, so that the people can see who he is. His plan was to allow the people of Cana to see his power and his authority. But not only was Jesus willing to demonstrate his power, when the official comes to him with his very specific request, Jesus is willing to stop. And to listen. He cared enough to speak to this official. But I think if we're honest, perhaps Jesus' response doesn't seem like it's very welcoming, right? Maybe it's all how we read or how we hear what God says. Jesus says, unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. Perhaps some of you, now that you have your Bibles open, notice that you have a little footnote, particularly if you're in the ESV, and that footnote gives you a little insight into what the English language uh, is deficient in for us. Jesus used the word you in the plural form both times. He wasn't just talking to that official. He was talking to all those that were standing around him at that time. And through the the Holy Spirit's preservation of this story, he speaks to us too. We're included in that plural you. So let me ask you, how do you hear Jesus' words? Do you hear them with a bit of a a lament? You know, uh, unless you believe, I mean, unless you see signs and wonders, you won't believe. Do you hear Jesus' words more in like a rebuke, you know, a raised voice? Unless you see signs and wonders, you're never going to believe. Or maybe you hear Jesus' words with compassion. Unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. However you happen to hear Jesus' words, he is stating a truth. God knows the human heart. He knows our need. And he is willing to meet us right where we're at. He's willing to meet the person who's seeking him right where he's at. He's even willing to use the megaphone of his signs and his wonders to perhaps Change that man's heart who is so hardened and far from him. 